meant, I meant to text you earlier. Give it up for, uh, for our former State House representatives, all by Future? Future State House representatives? What's going on with that, bro? Also, you wanna get up here and say some words? I'm just kidding. Please don't. Not tonight. But uh, I meant to text you earlier and let you know that uh, there's uh, a lot of mature themes in the music this evening. A lot of mature themes in the music. Because a lot has happened to me since the last time I had a release show, at which show I announced I was running for county commissioner. And uh, here I am now doing this, doing the thing. A lot has happened. You know, like back 2017, you know, in November, I never thought the sun would shine again, but now I'm on the other side of it. But like the scent of cyanide and piss on a little bit about summertime and how it left me high and dry like a skittish lamb in the lion's den. Now, I don't trust these summer days, because where the fuck were they when I took knife to skin and wanted my entire life to end? Summer abandoned me, and now it's handing me a Spanish beach and a can of drink of the Heineken, like, sorry about your suicidal kick. Here's a plastic pool, won't you dive in it? Here's some acid, too. Delightfully die in ICM. And I find myself desensitized by how absurdly nice it is to step outside my crib and smell the violence in the highest sense, but then again, if everything in your environment's conspiring to uplift you and cannot then maybe there's something on the inside that's the problem. But how was I supposed to know? Two heteros went together, the wet in general, central to its the pleasure. Parenthood, parenthetical, till your period's missing and it's being missing gets conspicuous. You're pissing on a stick and shit, shit, shit. You know what the issue is? A pinch of feet of tissue. It's an honor. It's a parasite. It's an honor. It's gotten you terrified. Is it honor? But it's gotta go, but could you spare a life? Could you prepare a ride if you tried? Are you the parent type? Prepare to fight for the right of choice. And yet embarrassed by the choice. If it's just a parasite, well, your eyes are moist. Because it's difficult to call the child a choice when a tiny voice inside you is crying out that it's your crying joy. Nobody tells you you can see it, you can grieve it. Because all we see is the stigmatization of a procedure, feeding off this information and trading conversation for secrets. So how was I supposed to know? You see me in the street, a fairly reek of appeal, only superficially, cause underneath it is still. Giving people peace out to cheapen the thrill. So we sleep with Frank and Reed of fine and keeping it. You see me in the street, a fairly reek of appeal, but only superficially, cause underneath it is still. Giving people peace out to cheapen the thrill. So we sleep with Frank and Reed of fine and keeping it. January, almost a year of being hunkered down and aching in my abdomen, perpetually tuckered out, nagging nausea, leaving me kneeling on the crust of tile, a harsher bit of finding out now that I've fucked around. Although I found it out before, already knew what was the fuss about, but what about the fuss? I wondered if, I wondered how, and what it allowed the possibility that I could be a mother now, that I've become comfortable enough to try to run a town, but still it struck me as a clusterfuck, and so I shut it down, that is until I saw the ultrasound, the little heart be thumping while I was on I said my job practically struck the ground as I suddenly really loved the child. But then again, even when you feel your heart filled with the love you've never felt before, and know that love will sustain you through all the things that come. Whoo, all the fears that come. Something nobody will prepare you for. So then the euphoria faded. Around the time I read it tripled, all the doctor bills adorning the table. I grabbed my knees up to my ankle, grabbed a blanket round my face and squeezed my ankles till I screamed, till I fainted for all the things I'm afraid of. Picture my doctor saying she didn't make it. Picture my partner driving home alone, now he's got a razor. And even if I breeze through the labor, the best case scenario is exceedingly painful. Nobody tells you, even if you feel prepared to keep and clean and feed him, push the baby carriage, cherish him and never sleep. Entering parenthood is such a scary thing, never knowing where the story's going is the only guarantee. I don't know, I don't know, I was just like, I'm just trying to get y'all caught up on the last four years since I had an album, I don't know. Yeah, I got like a little baby now, like, I almost got this little doctor right now, like, I'd be out here trying to liberate the people now. say up front that um, I might cry if you need to cry if you need to leave because we're going to be talking about mental health we're going to be talking about fascism we're going to be talking about a lot of different things that uh, 
might hit you the way that it hit me. Has it happened to me? Uh, feel, feel free to feel what you feel.